All right, before we get started, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the starting project that we're using. If you've gone through the React Native School deep linking class, you may be familiar with this. It's a super basic app. We've got two tabs. We've got an intro screen that just says welcome. On the people tab, we have a list that's going to pull from the Star Wars API to go ahead and show a list of some of the characters in Star Wars. If we go and click one of the characters, we go ahead and we can see some details about them. Something else that is configured in this is actually setting up deep linking. So we could go ahead and open up swappy demo colon forward slash forward slash people and we can go ahead and go directly to this tab. And we'll be using that just to demo how you can actually use deep linking in push notifications later on. But actually configuring that is out of scope of this course. So if you want to learn how to set up deep linking, go ahead and check out the React Native School deep linking class. Now looking at the code, everything is all of the our code is actually stored within the app directory. Uh, this is a React Native init app, so we got the iOS and the Android directory and all the other basic setup. Looking inside of app, we've got an index.js. This is where we're going to define our navigators. And then looking inside of our screens, we've got our intro screen, our people list, and our person details. They're really, really basic, very straightforward components. The only thing that's special that's going on here is we're pulling from the Star Wars API. So you can go ahead and get this code from the link down below. Once you've got that downloaded, installed, uh, follow the instructions on how to do that. Once you've got that all set up, then we can go ahead and start diving into the content of this course.